Hey guys, thank you for coming to my enemies keep you. This is a big problem that people have been having lately with Vista. I thought I'd shed some light on it. Anyway, right there. Uh, Vista, uh, underline right there. Oh my god, sorry, that totally sucked, guys. Anyway, let me just zoom into that again. Vista won't play AVI files now. There you go, and that's your main key right there, AVI. An audio video interleave, basically, I believe is what it is. And I've checked out a lot of links and checked out, you know, I've, I've gone through these links before in my XP machine. And, you know, there's been a lot of, lot of, lot of, uh, things dealing with, uh, well, I've had some problems. One problem I had was with Indio Audio. I fixed that, and I'll, uh, if those people who have problems with Indio Audio on Windows Movie Maker, I'll make a video shortly, a tutorial how to take away Indio Audio or fix it. Anyway, this is a huge problem. I even have this, but, uh, I think I found a solution, so, uh, I was checking out some forums on CNET. Forums are great, guys, to check out, you know, some, uh, info that you might want to, you know, if you ever have a problem. And a lot of people have this problem with, uh, their, uh, Vista, having the AVI not be able to play. Sometimes I had my video playing, just no audio. Sometimes I had the audio playing, no video. And when I transferred files from my, a uh, from my XP to my Vista, it wouldn't work. And I thought it was just the pen drive I was using, but... On XP it works totally fine, and I even installed, uh, I believe, the is it WMP 11, uh, Windows Media Player 11 for uh, XP, and like with the Vista skin, it looks really cool, guys. It's a little arrow effect, little it ha it's a little uh, has a lot, uh, you know, has a lot of uh, what do you call that? Sleek interface in it, little heavy base with the arrow, but it fixed some of my problems that I was having with XP. Nothing much on XP, just. Some little buggy errors with Cam Studio uh, AVI, not only, not just AVI in general. Anyway, uh, it's a real problem because I can't, what do you call that, watch any of my AVIs on here or edit them. So here's some solutions that I'm going to try, and probably the Divix one will probably work. Uh, I've heard this is the most popular one. Uh, I'll give you the link in my video. It's Divix for Windows 6.8. Download it, it's free. Don't, you don't really need to buy the Pro unless you want to. Anyway, uh, uh, that's yen for me, so I guess it would be around twenty dollars. I guess you could if you want. Divix requires Windows XP 2000 or Vista 32-bit version, and there, I believe I'm not sure. I don't, there, it's not. Uh, it doesn't work with a Mac, I believe. But Codex is a huge thing that I was having problems with. Uh, Vista doesn't really do good. A lot of their codec packs don't do good with others. Like Indio Audio doesn't mix with uh, my codec pack called. Uh, for a cam studio called Lostus Codec. It doesn't mix, so I had to delete Indio. Anyway, Divix is a, just download it, and they said it fixes one of the audio interleave, uh, audio video interleave problems, so should fix your WMP11 uh, uh, problem as well as your Windows Movie Maker problem. Now there's also another one that's called, uh, let me just go to Google here, Kazalite, Kazalite Codec, I believe I spelled that right. Right there, there you go. Kazalite codec, uh, the official packet guide, and you know I'll give you all the links in the in K Light they call it, K Light codec pack. You know, uh, but one that I really highly recommended is uh, Divix. I highly recommend Divix for Windows. Uh, I'm gonna try it out uh, for this video and check it out if it works. I'll update you guys if uh, I see anything. But anyway, also uh, um. Uh, real quick, um, if you see there, I'm just watching a bunch of videos and uploader. But anyway, uh, more on the thing. Now, if it won't play your AVIs, check, first off, if it's just, uh, Vista. Now, check if you're, uh, if it plays on, and if you have an XP machine, and try in installing some third-party codecs that you're not using at the moment, because that has tend to have a lot of problems on Vista. And you can easily remove codecs by taking them to wherever you saved it in the disk and run the un uninstaller, or if there's a code for it in CMD, you just run that. Uh, some other solutions is to, uh, if it doesn't play AVI, uh, there's also a lot of other solutions that people have had uh, with, you know, it's, there's a mainstream of codec packs, but mainly uh, it was uh, that DivX was needed to be installed, and I'll just show you, for example, like, uh, oh, and you can also view all of these on a VLC player or like real player or something like that. You know, so if you get any of those players out there, they should be able to play your AVIs. I'm not sure s as much as how to edit them with your Windows Movie Maker, uh, Movie Maker, which is really what I really wanted to do. I'll really, I'll view, I can view my uh, Cam Studio ones with the Cam Studio player. So, 
Yeah, but VLC players tended to work to VOM, but K Light was another successful one, as I said. So, uh, K Light and uh, Divix. Highly recommend Divix, though, because I believe it's the one that's most working right now. And uh, also try updating all your software. And as I said here, his, his QuickTime and iTunes player don't work. If that's the case, try updating all your software. Make sure you have the latest iTunes. Get the newest uh, QuickTime. And if not, try and uh, uh, un uninstall it and reinstall it. That tends to work too. Anyway, that's all for this today. This is all the tutorial for today. Hope it helped you out. If you had any Vista WMP or WMB or WMM not playing AVI files. Anyways, uh, you can check out the CNET forums or any other forums. And you know, mainly a lot of people run into this Vista problem. Hope this uh, tutorial helped, and links will be coming soon to your right. So anyways, thanks for watching.